Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play N64 games on the NES and SNES Classic. I use the word play lightly. These games do not run well on these systems. And to be honest, this is borderline more proof of concept than actually working. But there are very few games that will run full speed and you can play them fine. Just keep your expectations low. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is hack your system with HackGCE. I'll have a tutorial video in my description to show you how to do that. Once the hack is complete, open up HackGCE, go to your modules tab, and to the KMFD Mod Hub. First, you want to go to the KMFD RetroArch tab. You're going to highlight the newest version of RetroArch Extreme and then hit the Download Module button right here. Then click on the KMFD Cores tab. Scroll down until you get to the N64 section. You can see here we have a few to choose from. I personally like Gloopin N64. So once again, click on Gloopin, hit that Download Module button right here, and then you can close out the Mod Hub. Go back to the Modules tab and click Install Extra Modules. You're going to put a check mark next to RetroArch Extreme if you haven't installed that already, and then Gloopin N64. Hit the OK button here at the bottom and a bar will appear on your screen. Once it's filled in all the way, it means these cores were installed to your system and they can be used. Now we have to add our N64 game. So we're going to go to the Add More Games here down in the bottom left. Then you're going to navigate to whatever folder you keep your N64 games in. We're going to be taking a look at Super Mario 64, Super Smash Bros., Mischief Makers, and Yoshi's Story. After you've selected your games, hit the Open button down here in the bottom corner. So all four games have been added into HackG and you can see that the command line has been filled in for us already. If for some reason your command line wasn't filled in automatically, just highlight the games, right click, go to Select Emulation Core. On the next screen, highlight your games one more time, make sure N64 is selected under System, and then Gloop N64 or whatever core you're using is highlighted under the Core section. Then click Apply and close. We're going to grab some box art real quick then continue. The last step is to transfer these games from your PC to your system. If you're going to play them directly from your NES or SNES, hit the Synchronize Selected Games button right here. If you're using external storage like a flash drive, hit the Export Games button instead. One quick note before we head over to the system. Because a lot of these games have varying control schemes, the NES controller is not a viable option to play them. Super Nintendo is a little bit better but still you may not have all the buttons needed to play the specific game that you want. And obviously there are no analog sticks on these controllers. I am going to go over a method once we get into RetroArch on how to map the analog stick to the D-pad. So let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. Looks like all our games were added. Where's Mischief Makers? There it is, over to the side. We're going to start off with Mario 64 because I'm very familiar with playing that game on the system and it plays well. All right, see here, it looks like the game started up just fine. There's not much we can do on this screen except for hit start. And then when you go to the select file screen, you can't move or anything. That's because of what I was mentioning earlier, there's no analog stick, but we're gonna start a new game anyway. And the game looks like it's running in a lower resolution. The polygons on Peach look kind of jagged. And I believe if I'm correct, it's running at the native resolution, but because it's you know on HD and everything like that, it's just more obvious that those imperfections or whatever you want to call them are noticeable. All right, so the game has started. There's not a lot we can do. We can jump with B. We can attack with Y. If we hit the R button, it zooms the camera in and it doesn't seem like anything else does anything. At least with this game, you want to be able to move around and also use the crouch command. So what we're going to do is hit start and select to go into the RetroArch menu. We're going to back out one screen, go down to settings. From here, go down to input. You want to hit up to go to the very bottom of this menu and then go to user one binds. And we're gonna go down until we get to the user one control stick X and Y options. And all we're doing is mapping the analog stick to the D-pad on the controller. This can be a problem for some games if it uses both the analog stick and the D-pad. If you're just using the SNES controller, that won't work. If you have something like an OTG adapter, you can use other controllers or something like an 8-bit DOE controller with analog sticks. But if you're only using the native SNES Classic controller, this is what you do. Go into the control stick X and push A to map it. So we're going to hold right on the D-pad key and we're going to do the rest for the other controls. This one is saying left analog stick left, down, and up. We also need the Z trigger so we're going to map that one to the L button. Make sure if you want to save these settings you go to the user one save auto config and you hit A so it will save. So we're going to back out to the main menu go back to quick menu and resume. And now you can see that we can move around, jump, attack, and we have our duck where we can do our backflip, crawl around, or do a little Mario kick. So I'm gonna showcase the other three games that we added just so you can get an idea of how this core runs on these systems.
So as you can see, not the best. That's all I have for you guys today. If you need any help getting this done, feel free to go to the Discord channel in my description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through Patreon. Eric Cologne, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, William Wend, Yaroslav Orudzov.